What is up guys, it is me, Neko, bringing you another video, and as the title says, this is my boundless prediction for the TCG boundless, and well, that's all I have to say. So now let's start off with cars that can get limited, or what I think should or could get limited. And an obvious car that can, obviously it will get limited, is Crush Card Virus, brackets, errata, close brackets, I don't really want to get into this because it's pretty obvious, it's honestly bad. Another card that could potentially get limited, personally, I don't think it could because it's kind of helping the game a little, but you know, you're not going to give a shit. You don't give a shit. It's been overused. They're going to get limited anyways. So, this could get limited because it's pretty much in every deck and it's shut down. And pretty much, if you don't have an XT or something to destroy a card, then you pretty much lose. So, and I could see it getting it wrong. It's a nice fun gate, it's a super shot fun gate, so it could get a one, especially with, with all the quality prints. And another card that has a potential to get limited is our favorite tour guide, because Burning Abyss happened and she spams Burning Abyss. So it's pretty obvious that she'd probably get limited if Burning Abyss get hit. So yeah, I honestly... Oh, if of course, if she doesn't get hit, then you could hit Graph. Or curve because you know they float and they like, spam the deck. So, oh, another card that can get hit in Burning Abyss is Fire Link because that card is just really strong. Come on, you plus two if you pick the right guy, especially once again back to curve and grab, you can just plus and destroy three cards. So, yeah. And now for Cliffords, what how could I hit this? I, would, I mean, I don't think they would because it might be a little too early, but if it's just right, like it's about time they get hit, it's probably gonna hit Sacrifice because, come on, you can prove some of that wannabe Superwoman Invisible Jet and just destroy M+. And another card that could get hit is Summoner's Heart, but, you know, especially with the new Pendulum Project coming out, it has the more you know, guns and stuff, so yeah, this could get hit, maybe, probably not. Now, no. Necros, there is no way they're gonna hit Necros because the band just came out, but they could hit Ritual Supports. Which Ritual Supports oh, well, <laughs> Which Ritual Supports they would hit? Probably Manju to one because it's pretty much such as spell or ritual monster, so yeah. And another card that got reprinted twice. Personally I prefer for them to reprint to teleport was because it's really expensive. It's preparation of rights because once again it's another load up for the deck. And it's just it back a ritual spell from the graveyard, so it's a plus two potentially. So I can see this get limited, you know, just to keep the numbers in check, not so they don't get too OP. And another card that personally this is personally the card that I want on the list is Harpy's Fitter Duster because again, burning the piss with all that back row. So it could get limited. I mean, we got Regeki out of the blue. Why can't we get Duster? Right? I mean, I really want this, so I already bought it anyway. So I might save like 50 bucks. And another card, if Duster doesn't get limited, then Heavy Storm personally, why not both, right? So yeah, this could get limited too. If not Duster, Heavy Storm. Once again, for why not both? So that's pretty much it for cards that I think could or should get limited. Now let's move on to cards that could or should get semi-limited, semi-limited, <laughs> is another card that helps necros or virtues in general is Senju of the Thousand Hands because again it's another searcher for the deck so why not hit it, put it at 2, I mean it's not as strong as mine so at 2 would be okay. And once again back to Cliff Forts, not sure if it's too early or if it's just right. If they do get hit, I would say Scout could get 2, just like in LCG, because, you know, putting it at 1 would kind of really hurt the deck too strong. So I can see this going at 2. I mean, it's really strong, actually, especially with Trump. You have trampling, so even if this goes to 2, you technically have 3, 4, or whatever. And another card that could get some enemy. Personally, I feel like this shouldn't even get hit. Is skill drain again because of Cliff Force. Cliff Force, why are you getting some cards hit? This is all your fault. So, yeah, this could get go to two. Personally, I don't want it to go to two. I don't care because it's skill drain. Virtual Beast can run it, like you guys saw in my video. Go back to my video and you guys will see why. 
And now, another card that I would love for it to go to is Bob and Shuffle. You know, with all the spamming, especially with pendulums, this could really help, you know, when it's spam clifflers, banish all your shield. Because, yeah, Bob and Shuffle. And of course, if Bob is going to go to, if, you know, you guys can. Come on, Nami. If you don't give us this at two, at least give us Tyrannical Tribute. Again, because of all the pendulum and all the spamming, this card really helps. It does. It would really help if it goes to. It wouldn't break the game. It wouldn't affect anything. Especially with Zenjus. And it doesn't matter because Zenjus can probably negate it if they already have that counter trap set. It's the search one. It's the three. So, yeah. Give us Tyrannical Tribute too. And against again, a card that I want to go from limited to whatever is Divine Wind because again I can't afford emergency teleport. It's so sad. But I would love to see this card go to two because it's so good. I mean you I love Miss Valley, I love Zoe Falcon, I love Harpies, I love anything with wind, and they gotta reprint it. So for that hint that this might come off the ban list could it. If it does I'd be really happy. And that's about it for our cards that will get some of it. And let's go to cards that could or should go to three. And of course we have Insector Pony. And why not? Insectors haven't done anything. And they kinda got a little bit of you know spotlight last year, I believe, around the end. So why not put this card at three or two? Doesn't really matter, but this could get off the balance, right? And another card that I really don't care about if it does or not is Goyo Guardian because nobody gives a shit about him anymore. Like whatever. Sinkers you know, are not that relevant, anyways. And yeah, that's about it. I can say Royal. Another card that I feel should or could is Macro Cosmos because again, Ritual Beast. If OCG can have three of this, why can't we? Because we want our lullies to be able to counter Necros. This again could put Necros in check because Necros are too strong. And if this goes to three, it would help. And if that, then why not Dimension Fusion? Not both. Personally, I prefer both because. I like banishing things, and because I play virtual beasts, you know, all you virtual beast players, you guys, I know you guys have written, but this should go to 3 or 2. Personally, 3 would be really awesome, and it helps the deck. Now, cards that could or should get banned. Personally, I don't, these cards that are on this list are cards that I don't really think. It's just what might happen. It's Snapsy. Konami said that they released this card from the balance to test, to see what will happen. And personally, I don't care if this gets this at one. I don't really care. I mean, it's not that strong. I mean, just MST it or something. But yeah, Snessy could go back on the band, this guys. I mean, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's not that good anyway. It's good, but not that good. And another card that I personally I want this card banned. <laughs> Did I say that? No. Is this everyone's favorite fat piece of shit? I hate this card. Is Daijin Laser of Rituals because. Who doesn't like preventing your opponent from playing? Necro. So of course this could get done. I mean, if you limit this, it doesn't even matter because Necro's players only play one. So this could get banned. Who knows? You don't know Konami what they do. And another card or cards that will get it is Jewelers. Starting with Dots. Personally, I don't want the Jewelers to get hit or banned, but they could. I mean, especially with a new Galaxy card coming out. Again, I don't want to hit because I play Ritual Beast and Tempest really helps in some places. Really makes some explosive pluses. So I hope they don't get banned, but you know, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I personally don't like them. But if they do, they could get banned because they also got banned in OCG. So, yeah. So, Burner, and of course, we have Tidal. Also get hit. That's pretty much it about cards that I think could get, you know, banned. Personally, again, like I said, guys, don't hate me if the jewelers are here. It's just something that might happen. I don't think much can happen. And Daijin, I want her to get banned because I hate her. So that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Leave a comment below and rate my um, ban list. What do you guys think about it? And leave something I missed out. And obviously, I'm not at Stratos because I don't care about shadows and yeah anyways guys thank you bye